it's been a long and emotional day. David is TDY, but we found out today on September 6th, 2018, I am pregnant. I probably could turn it around. Um, I've cried so much. Happy tears. Um, but yeah, I just really want to document everything. It doesn't feel real still. Um, but hopefully it starts to soon. It just kind of feels like I can't believe that there's a life inside of me right now. Um... But yeah, so video number one, we found out today that we're going to be a mommy and daddy. <laughs> Hey guys, um, so this is my first little pregnancy vlog, um, at the time of making this I haven't put it out on social media yet, but I really want to start getting, um, my vlogs, like, started so that once I do tell social media they're ready, so this would be vlog number one of Brianna and David, first pregnancy, first baby, and I'm really excited to vlog the whole experience. So, okay, let's talk. <laughs> okay, so at the time of making this video, I am like nine and a half weeks pregnant, going into my 10th week. Um, we're gonna, we've told our family and like close friends, but we're going to put it, excuse me, on social media, um, when I hit my 12th week, so near the end of the first trimester. Um, so far I've only had one baby appointment and that was like when I found out that I was pregnant. When I found out I was seven and a half weeks, so I've known for like about three weeks almost, um. And that's the little baby. She's like, well, he or she is like super small right now. But I think right now she's growing from the size of a grape to, oh, I forget the one that's in front of a grape. Wait, I have it in my book. So right, right now she's the size of a grape, but now she's going to the size of a cherry. He or she. I keep saying she, but normally I say he. Um, so a few things we're going to talk about, just how I'm feeling so far, the initial shock of finding out, um, I was going to, I've been going and seeing a doctor for actually not having menstrual cycles, and then they kept telling me that, like, something is wrong, something was wrong, they took blood tests, though, and I took multiple at-home pregnancy tests, and they all came back negative, so I wasn't, I haven't had, like, a period since, like, May. It's been a lot, and it's September. It's been a long time. So, like, I didn't know when I was ovulating. I didn't know what was going on. I'm not on birth control um, because it was just, like, really messing with my body, so I got off birth control. Um, and then it was the day before I was going to see an infertility specialist to try and figure out what's going on with my cycle. And they wanted to just do one last blood test just to be sure. And what do you know, that blood test came back, they called me, and they were like, you're not sick, you're pregnant, and I was like, at first, like, I just started crying, because I didn't know what to think, like, I was just like, what, because my mind was, like, said that something was wrong with me, and I hadn't been having a period, so we didn't know when I was ovulating or anything like that, I don't know if other women have, like, had that problem, but, like, so I didn't even know that, like, I was ovulating, to be honest, at the time, so that's how I found out, um, David was actually away, on military orders um when i found out sorry i'm starving so i called him up i was like baby i'm not sick and i was just like i'm pregnant um 
So it was like amazing. It still doesn't feel real sometimes, but it is. Um, we told our family last, well, Monday of this week, actually. And after that, I was able to tell like close friends and stuff. Work knows because in the military, it's really hard to like not let work know. So, work knows. Um, but I can't wait to share it with my Instagram family and my social media family. I'm really excited. Um, so that's that. So far, you know, I've just been like soaking everything in, you know, taking my prenatals every day. Um, just trying to make sure, you know, I cut out all caffeine, all supplements, all everything like unnatural. I try and eat, like make sure. I Normally, I'm really bad with eating. Like I'll just eat like two big meals a day and then like maybe snack throughout the day. But I've been trying to have like more consistent meals. Um, you know, resting. At this point in the pregnancy, nine and a half weeks, like, I haven't had a lot of, like, crazy sickness. I just get, like, nauseous every once in a while. But so far, knock on wood, like, this isn't wood, but knock on wood. <laughs> I've had, like, really good luck with not getting, like, super, super sick. I just get nauseous, and I'm just, like, extremely tired. Like, going to the gym has been such a chore. Throughout the week, like, when I'm working, it's really difficult. Like, waking up for work is, like... It's really difficult. Um, so, yeah, I've just been trying to rest as much as I can and just kind of, like, you know, researching. I'm already, like, trying to, like, plan out everything. But I have such a long time that I'm just trying to, like, take it step by step and wait till the baby gets a little more grown. But obviously, already trying to think of, like, birth plan and baby shower and gender reveal and all that stuff. You know, I'm extra. So, I've been thinking about all of that. But... Yeah, I've just been feeling really blessed. Um, so yeah, right now I'm going to the gym today. David's at work. I'm eating a blueberry bagel. I had cereal like four in the morning. I woke up and was hungry when David went to work. So a blueberry bagel with cream cheese, an apple. I got my water. I've been drinking like I normally drink like try to get like half a gallon to like three fourths of a gallon a day. But now I've really been trying. The gallon is hard for me, so I've just been using like my my little shaker cup and I try to drink like six or seven of these a day because um yeah everyone keeps saying like water is naturally just really important for your body but they said especially when you're pregnant like because it just helps get all the fluids going and like you know right now like I'm building organs all the baby's organs so I've been trying to drink a ton of water David's making me drink these green smooth look at this the hell he makes them because I don't eat enough vegetables. I hate vegetables. And so it's, um, mm. it's really not horrible, actually, and being a total baby. The texture is a little bit bad. Um, it's spinach, a shit ton of spinach. Let me start there, a shit ton. But it's spinach, um, carrots apple and apple juice I think that's all he put in there but it's a lot of spinach like a lot and then I kind of not, not a lot of carrots but a lot of spinach um so he makes me and I say makes because I don't like it but he makes me drink that every morning so I got this really cute um I got it on Amazon it's called from pea to pumpkin and this book is really cute, you guys. I'm actually starting my my uh, journal, like journaling in it now. And it literally, like, you'll see this week I haven't wrote yet. It literally tells you, like, okay, week nine, size of a grape. And then it, like, guides you on things to write. Like, so it just really gets your, like, it also has, like, sections where you can just write random stuff. But it really gets your mind jogging on, like, what you want to write. You can, like, insert pictures and stuff in it. And it's, it's from P to Pumpkin because it starts off the P and then it ends like your baby ends up being the size of um, 7.5 pounds, which is the size of a pumpkin. So that's like where it'll end. So it's just, I'm really excited. This is going to be like, this is my pregnancy journal. So everything I've been experiencing, I'm going to obviously do my vlogs, but still write in there. Um, but yeah, so far that's like the biggest update like I said I'm just nauseous sometimes oh, my face no that's one thing my face hates me look like I've been 
that so broke out. I think it's just like all the hormones in my body like getting situated. Um, I feel like I look bigger, but it's because like I feel like I'm used to like having like a really flat, tight stomach and like my muscle, like, you know, I haven't been able to really work out. Like I was like not feeling good for like a week and a half there. So I just didn't work out for like a week and a half. Um, but I really am like, I, I'm really not showing, like I'll show you guys what I look like, but, um, in my head I feel big, but I'm not. So, so yeah, that's the, um, first vlog, my little pregnancy update, how we found out. Um, telling our family just kind of how I'm feeling right now and I'm, I will have like more detailed videos like as I go in I want to do one on already the creams I've been using because I've already been like using creams I know stretch marks are hereditary my mom has stretch marks but I really want to try and do like everything I can to not get them so I will do a video on some of that um that stuff but this was just kind of like an introduction video to um, finding out that we are pregnant and that I'm going to be a, a mom and it's really exciting. So, okay guys, um, so thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to this video if, um, you do not already subscribe. I'm really going to try to get some good content on here for you guys. So, okay, um, thank you so much. Bye.